Hello, my name is Dimitrios Stanoglidis and I'm a PhD student in astrophysics at the University of Chicago. So astrophysics is becoming more and more a big data science. Instead of focusing on individual objects, astronomical surveys map large parts of the sky collecting information for hundreds of millions of objects. Take the target energy survey, for example, led by scientists here at the University of Chicago and Fermilab. It has observed 300 million galaxies and mapped 12% of the sky. You can see its footprint here. In the near future, surveys like Rubin Observatory's LSST will yield even larger data sets. LSST is expected to observe 20 billion galaxies over the next 10 years and produce 20 terabytes of data per night. Using this data, valuable scientific results can be extracted from measuring the cosmological parameters, mapping the distribution of dark matter in the universe, and using the lensing of galaxy images from the presence of foreground matter to test gravity theories. In all these cases, traditional analysis methods are being supplemented more and more often with machine and deep learning. Another science case is testing galaxy formation models in the regime of low galaxy brightness and masses, for which we do not have many observations like these. Here, I'm going to describe how we discovered low surface brightness galaxies in the dark energy survey. First, we selected objects from the full catalog based on their radius, brightness, and some other criteria. However, from about half a million candidates, 90% were artifacts like those you can see here, small objects blended in the light of nearby stars and galaxies. To remove these, we employ the machine learning classifier, specifically support vector machines, trained on a manually annotated data set that we created by inspecting all objects in seven random patches on the footprint of the survey. Our goal was to minimize the false negatives, as you can see here. After this step, we ended up with a sample of 45,000 candidates with a large number of false positives though, that we subsequently rejected by inspecting all of them. The final sample was 24,000 low surface brightness galaxies. So having a large sample of manually annotated galaxies and artifacts, we proceed to train a convolutional neural network able to distinguish it between the two categories directly at the pixel level. As you can see, the convolutional neural network performs significantly better than other machine learning methods trained on features extracted from the same objects reaching an accuracy of 92% and similarly high completeness and purity that are also known as recall and precision in the machine learning literature. For our results to be useful, knowledge extracted from the dark energy survey should be able to be transferred to other astronomical surveys. We tested that by classifying 960 objects with ground truth labels derived from a different survey. Applying directly the classifier to the new data, we got an accuracy of 79% that improved to 86% after a retraining, also known as a fine tuning step. Note especially that the reduction in the number of false negatives was impressive. For a visual comparison of the improvement, we can also inspect the rock curves of the two cases. We plan to apply these methods in analysis of deeper data from the dark energy survey to get larger catalog galaxy catalogs. And we also hope that they will be used in upcoming surveys too. At this point, I would like to thank you for your attention and also thank the Rising Stars in Data Science Committee for their kind invitation.